How a microchip is helping the war on bone disease. We got Ron Winslow to tell us about this. Used to be milk helped with the war on bone disease. Now it's microchips. Tell us how. Some interesting scientists, by the way, engineers developing this technology. So uh, what the what's going on here is an effort to sort of marry drugs and devices, pair up a drug and a device to improve the delivery of the drug, make it more precise, and also, <coughs> in this particular case, help patients be, be more compliant with their medicines. This osteoporosis drug is a hormone, uh, sort of a, a hormone that uh, makes bone grow stronger or helps bone develop, and it's given in daily injections for two years. So you need a daily injection, and nobody likes to get shots. So one of the estimates are that by, 20, but by the end of two years, only 25% of women, or patients, mostly women, who need this are taking it. So if you could do something that would eliminate the need for shots... We're looking at a chart of this. This compliance. is sort of a, a, a how it works thing, oh. which is probably going to be in the paper tomorrow. I would, so you, I get, think that means you get a single... You, you get this implanted once. And implanted once. And then how, how, mechanically, how does it work? How do so, they, how do so they, they renew so the... An electrical, so one thing, it's they load it. They can arm it wirelessly. They can program it wirelessly. And they can also trigger it on command if they want, but this would sort of be something that you would schedule uh, once a day, and so it would be scheduled, programmed into the device. An electric current, they, they seal up the drug in these little reservoirs, they hermetically seal it, it's in a powder form, um, and then they deliver an electric current to this little reservoir, it opens it up and the drug is released into the body. And when is this going to be available to people? It's going to be long, it's, it's four or five years out yet. They, okay. This is an early stage test, it's the first time they've done it in humans, it was just seven people. They got tested for more patients and uh, you know a lot, a lot of regulatory hoops yet before they can uh, get this on the market.